What else do you need? A ring. So there's some rings up top. All right, many of you have asked me for the spreadsheet that I use for my Distracted series. So without further ado, this is how you get it. There's a link in the description. Once you open up that link, you'll get to something like this. The first thing you wanna do is go to File, Make a Copy. Then once you have your copy, the f I, I suppose most of you are probably wanting to use this for your main account. So the first thing I would do is go to the Info tab down here, and you're gonna wanna update all of your your stats so the top one is the total so don't do not change the total you just want to change the completed quest count to how many quests you've done and vice versa with the rest of them once you've done that you'll see that it has updated on here on this front page you shouldn't be typing or deleting anything now that brings us to the next thing depending on what your account is you're going to want to change these according to whatever your account is now to get these images it's pretty simple so I'm gonna choose the iron scimitar. You want this little tiny image right here. I would open this in a new tab. Then you're gonna wanna go up to the URL, copy it, and go over back over here. Then you're gonna wanna type equals image, all caps, parentheses, quotation marks, paste the URL, quotation marks, and parentheses. Press enter, and your little image should pop up right here then of course just type in type in what you need there you go so i did that for all of my tasks as long as you keep all the tasks on the a column and all the images on the b column you should be golden now for those of you who are interested in doing the boss time thing it pretty much works exactly the same way to get a new boss task you click this button and to remove that you just click complete so basically i have weighted these bosses well here's just the breakdown I mean, you can play around with this a little bit to get it to what you want. If you wanna see the different weights of each boss, just change the number here. So for example, for God Wars Dungeon, I have four iterations of each of the God Wars bosses. So four Krills, four Kriara, etc. That totals the 16. For God Wars Dungeon boss tasks, I have 16 out of the total, whatever the fraction is. But if you just do that, you're good to go. For example, if you really liked God Wars and you wanted to do five of each boss, change that to 20, you'll see that this changes too. But remember, you wanna like update this as well. So you wanna add another boss of each kind that you wanna do. Also, I should mention the reason why this is blue is because uh, I like to use the green screen effect with it. I can cut out the background and make it see through. I mean, you could change it however you want, you know, but that's just why I, I have it like this. If you're using a lower level account, this might be kind of difficult just because of the amount of quests that you'd wanna do. What you could do is instead of saying complete a specific quest, cause I only have like two quests left. Instead of saying that, you could do something like complete one novice quest. And then there you go, something like that. Otherwise, my only suggestion for low level accounts to start using this would be to grab Tedious's spreadsheet. You're gonna wanna go down into the description of one of his newer videos, grab his spreadsheet. I know, lots of spreadsheets. It's basically the same idea. You make a copy of this. We're gonna call this quest generator. Once you have your new and improved quest generator, thanks to Tedious, pull up your list of quests and I would probably sort them by difficulty. Let's see, what do we got here? Novice, intermediate, experienced, master, grandmaster. You could change the names of these to novice, intermediate, experienced, whatever. If you do that, you're gonna, you, you'll have to change the code. If you wanna really see how to do that and make it look cool, I guess I can do that. Or I can just start a new series like that, just as a side thing. But first of all, probably clear all of these. All right, let's see here. What's a novice quest? Druidic ritual and the nice thing about this is that once you complete said task tedious's will actually mark off that it's completed because my series is a little bit different and the requirements like i'll have to do 
several of these at once. It's not really a one and done thing. So whenever I get a quest, I just remove it. Or if, if it's like a one-off task that's just for fun, like, like the gauntlet one, if it's just a one-off task like that, then I just delete it from here and shift it up. So that way I don't get it again. But if you're wanting to do quests, then I would highly recommend using TDSs, if anything, just for the quests. So once you have all your tasks ready to go, you're gonna wanna go to the dashboard and click let the gods decide. But first, you're gonna get this authorization required thing. So for these buttons, there's a script attached to them that selects something from the list at random. It's very basic. You just need to allow the permission to run. It's gonna say this app isn't verified, of course. Just click allow and it should work. And look at that, I just got boss time. That's how you do it. Be sure to try it out and let me know how it goes. Well, that was a rather successful boss time. Let's complete the good old boss time task. What's next? I'm fine with that. I really am fine with that. It's just like I have all these skilling tasks that I could be doing instead. I do want to do more skilling. That's for sure. But we'll go ahead and get another Slayer task. All right, it looks like the spear has sold 13 mil in the bank. That is amazing. And so if we store everything real quick, we have a full bank. Okay, we're at 331 mil. Not bad, not too bad. 19 mil, well, 19 mil cash. Not too bad. We're coming back from that herb lore grind. Let's go get the new Slayer assignment. Cal fights. Well, I can already tell you that I'm not gonna be doing Cal Fight Queen because I took it off the boss time. <laughs> I'm never doing Cal Fight Queen again. I'm sorry. You can't force me back there. I'm just being honest with you. We got 700 points. That's um awesome. Since when can you buy a rune pouch from here? That's definitely new. So I'm gonna do something big brain 300 IQ right here. I'm gonna unlock stop the wyvern for 500 points. Oh, and then I'm gonna unblock this right here. So now we got another slot. Pretty cool. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it on though. We'll cross that bridge when the time comes. Hey, hey, and we're off. Getting these cow fights in. Oh yeah, there's like a bend in gravity right here where you just can't see me. That's a space-time continuum. I, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Just a quick update on the stats. We got 245k to an attack level and uh, 100k to 90 Slayer. As for the cow fights, we got a hundred and, oh, that's more than I thought. We got 176 cow fights to kill. It might take us a while. These guys right here are the best in the game. I'll probably pull up the, the XP rates later. I like this task because you just get to kind of chill for a while. Just reload your cannon and go back to it. Whip, smack, whip, smack. Yeah, that's right. So the normal cannonballs have a max hit of 30, whereas if you kill the gargoyle boss, you get this dust you can add to the normal cannonballs. It ups the max hit of the cannonball to 35 instead of 30. And here is our XP, some pretty good rates, honestly. What really matters is this 47K per hour Slayer XP. And keep in mind, I'm not using Piety for this one. Man, I'm so excited. At 91 Slayer, I unlock the boss Cerberus, which is super hype. I've never done Cerberus before, obviously. Where did, where did this come from? Did I bring that here? No, there's no way. How did I get 30K? <laughs> That's so weird. I don't think I brought that, so I gotta figure this out real quick. Public service announcement. If you're watching this in 2021, be sure to join Ingus FC. I don't know what I'll be doing by 2021, but if you're watching this video in 2021, be sure to join Ingus FC, cause I'll probably still have 7,000 subscribers. We're having a great old time talking about RuneScape stuff, all kinds of RuneScape stuff we got low level players in here we got new accounts we also got some high level players talking about raids it's a great time that's all i can say about it thank you for joining everyone we got 50 left so uh we're going strong by the way i figured out where that um that 32k come from came from earlier i remember i got a rune chain body and i alked it so uh mystery solved we are here Oh man, it's way too early for this. What time is it? See, I'm asking what time it is and I'm checking how many kills I have left on my Slayer task. Come on, 
Wake up, Ingus. There we go. Buggy has told me not to, to kill these anymore. Let's head out. Oh, I almost went back for my Slayer task. All right, it is time to let the gods decide. Let's complete that. Next task. I guess the image doesn't work. That's okay. Fletch magic longbows for the next fletching level. Let's do it. Okay, let's see, uh, where are we at right now? 542k. <laughs> Uh, how many longbows is that? What I might do is actually, I might fletch them and then string the rest and profit. Let's figure out how much we need first. So we're gonna need, what is that? 542K, oh Jesus, divided by 91.5, right? 6,000, 6,000 magic logs. Guess we'll, we'll get started on that right away. I was hoping I would get something AFK, so. You know what, I'm gonna go buy my battle staffs because I keep forgetting. One of the best achievement diaries in the game right here, the Varrock ones. I've probably made like 20 mil or 30 mil. <laughs> I buy these every day. If I'm making 100K profit every day, I've been doing this for a year, that's um 30 mil just from, from buying these. And we're off. Fletching, magic longbows. It takes about a minute just to get one inventory. Yeah, this could be, this could take us a while. I don't even wanna know how many hours it's gonna take. So for those interested in magic longbows, you need 85 fletching, which is kinda high. If you've never trained fletching before, you pretty much just wanna make bows. You start out with arrow shafts, and then you just keep upgrading, making the best bow you can make. Generally, the longbows are the best, whatever longbow you can do, and you just do that. That's, that's fletching. Oh, I just realized we get a new unlock at 92. We can do redwood shields, and it looks like they are slightly better than magic longbows. That's something to look forward to, but for now, I'll just be fletching these logs. <laughs> Here we go. Six mil fletching experience. What a nice and beautiful number to see. Still got 500k left. I just, words cannot describe when I see comments like this where people are coming back to the game because of my videos that makes that makes me feel uh really special and beast right here started playing because of me you guys are the best this right here is the beauty of the french chat we got people from all over the world we got india netherlands canada usa oh that's me uh england yeah that's right netherlands again we got lots of netherlands folks represent oh and we got Ikan. he's from Oman. hell yeah we got people all over the world here oh man we're <laughs> i'm fletching logs as you can see i've been here for probably like two hours just um just doing that right there nothing else has changed i'm just just cutting logs it's great it's a great time on the bright side we are 200k to level and honestly it's actually been kind of nice just to sit here. This must look so funny to people who do not play RuneScape. Like if someone just happened to click on my video and was like, oh, what is this? And he just sees me fletching logs <laughs> for uh, for like four hours. I'm having a blast. Just uh... <laughs> classic, classic RuneScape right here. 86K left. There's another guy right here who's been fletching with me. It's nice to just cut logs. Congratulations to Breaking Banks, 99 hit points. What a boss. That is an awesome achievement, man. We've done a lot of fletching today. Ugh. And that's me yawning, cause I've been sitting here for a while, man. For you guys, it'll be like two minutes for this whole grind, but for me, it's been about uh, like four hours. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? I wasn't even recording. <laughs> but there we go, 92 fletching. What a level, a rather insignificant one, but a level that we need for the max cape. And we also got 1995 total. That looks pretty cool. I like it. We can now fletch redwood shields, which if we ever get a new fletching method, it's gonna be redwood shields because they are slightly faster than magic longbows. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We bought them for 1016. So we lost about um, 100K from that. Um, that kind of sucks but oh well, it was a necessary cost to get this level. 
and pretty cheap compared to most other skills. Let's get the next task. And here we are, the next task complete. Hey, the symbol worked that time. We have updated the skill total to 1995. I don't even think it's gonna change a percentage. Let's just let the gods decide what's next. Oof, did you hear that? That hurt, that hurt my soul right there. Jesus. Well, remember that uh, that Zami spear we just got? I guess we can just kiss that goodbye because we got construction and as you probably know by now, construction is not cheap. But uh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it because we have no choice. The gods are in control of our fate. We got 139K construction experience to next level. I have no idea how much this is gonna cost, so let's go figure it out. So I pulled up this calculator. So, oh, perfect. I just click on that and it's good. Okay. So we need to buy 2,323 oak planks. One mil. Is it? It can't be one mil. It's really only one mil. That's not too bad. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Oh, that's why. We're already like halfway to the next level. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Okay, I guess we're only gonna spend one mil. I was I was expecting way more. Um, I'm cool with that. And realistically, it's only gonna take like an hour or two to knock that out, if that. Alrighty, well, I don't have my sound on. One second. What is this? I got gym sweat all over my headphones. Okay, what do we need for construction? A hammer and a saw. Interesting, so I'm reading online. Wow. And it says that the demon butler is good for oak larders, but the butler, the regular butler, is much better if you're making oak dungeon doors. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Butler, but it looks like you're fired. Bye. Let's hire someone. Hello, Mr. Butler. Yes, I will pay you 5,000 coins for this. You're hired. Okay, so now we're doing the actual training. Oh, don't remove that. That's a spooky little skeleton right there. Oak door. That's what we're building today. Just like that. Bring something from the bank. I would like some oak planks. 600 experience. So basically butlers are nice. Cause uh, I mean, you have to pay them. Don't get me wrong. You gotta pay the butlers, but he'll bring you stuff. It's very convenient. Oh, this, these are so nice. You can just press one, can't you? Oh my gosh, nice. I only have to press one. I'm so used to the larders. You gotta press two for that one. What? Should I fire him for that? Probably not. Where's my money bag? I thought I had some. Um, and there's a bed. Oh, servant's money bag. This is very useful. Instead of having to pay the butler every time you need something from him, you can just put money in here. And so he'll just take out just enough every single time. 500K, why not? And let's get back to building. Whoa, so I can see the skeleton in there. Oh man, I just woke up, got 12 hours of sleep. <laughs> Was not planning that, but uh, I'll take it. Can never get too much sleep. What's crazy is I even went to bed kind of early. Like I think I was like lights are out. I was in bed by like 10, but alas, we will continue making oak dungeon doors. Wow, I'm already like halfway through this. We got 69K left, really not a big challenge. As you can see, I'm getting about 225K experience an hour doing this. It's going good. We'll be done with this in no time. And we're coming up, we're getting close, 14K away. I'm excited for whatever is next. I. I really kind of enjoy these skilling tasks. It gives me a, a reason to train 83 construction, you know? Especially with a skill like construction. Once you hit 82, you're, you're pretty much good for the rest of the game. There's not much you can get after 82. But with the spicy stew, you can boost that up to plus five. So really the minimum is 87 to get all the good stuff. Maybe I'll show you that after I get this level real quick. And here goes the last one for 83 construction. Awesome. I don't know if I can actually build anything with this that is useful, but we got another level. Let's celebrate. Got 1996 total. We're gaining one level at a time, straight to 99.
let's go. The main thing you want 82 for is this altar right here. You can change your spell book. You don't have to run to the desert or lunar isle just to change your spell book. You can just change it like this. Look at that. Whatever one you want. It's really useful. I also got my my little Zora here. They also got this jewelry box. It's very useful. Any of the jewelry you can teleport with. Not sure what level that requires. Yeah, I can't even find it in the guide. <laughs> but if you want the occult altar, you'll need 90 construction. With that being said, let's go ahead and get the next task. No! Why did I put that in there? I guess we're doing some agility. On the bright side, it is at Prifidinus, and I have never done that agility course before. So we'll get to check it out. All right, let's gear up, get our graceful going. I'm sure we'll need that. There's the symbol. Let's go ahead and... I've never done this before, so... I'm kind of curious what this is going to be. Wow. It's, uh... Looks pretty nice. I suppose before I should get going, get this set up for you. Oh, uh, where do I go? <laughs> where is it? I I don't I don't get it. Am I just am I just really smart right now? Where am I supposed to go? This isn't funny. Oh, I saw it. Why is the hitbox for that so incredibly bad? So for this one too. Down here, okay. Dark hole, let's go through the dark hole. We're outside Perfidinus. All right, cross the rope bridge. What is that? A portal? Does this take you to the bit? Ooh, it jumped me forward. That's amazing. So if you get a portal, it could cut down your time a little bit. A nice view from up here. 1,000 experience. That's pretty good. It took me three minutes to do that though. Oh, I guess I got stuck on that, that first one because I'm blind. That hitbox is really weird. Oh, we got another portal. Let's go ahead and use that. That's much better. One, one minute. Okay. So if each one takes one minute, it's going to be about 50 to 60,000 experience per hour. And we got three hours to go then. Two hours of, uh, of straight agility. Well, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really, really fun. Oh, I'm sorry, Rock Dog. I already, I already heard this one before. <laughs> we need some more pirate jokes, okay? So how about whoever's watching this video, comment your best pirate joke and don't Google them. That doesn't count. Come up with your own. And in the next video, we'll read them off to see what you guys came up with. <sighs> I've only been doing this for like 10 minutes and I am already... <laughs> I'm already debating on doing something else. That's just agility, man. I need to find like a podcast or something. Any recommendations on podcasts? And don't say Joe Rogan. I already watch that sometimes. Ooh, a portal. Nice. I like those little things. They give you 82 experience. And I failed. Uh, another one. What do you need for DKs? All right, so he has pretty decent stats. Not gonna lie. Um, That's all you need. Really? Probably some Barrows gear? I don't know. You know, the failure rate on this is actually frustrating. I'm getting 38k. <laughs> I'm getting 38k, boys! This is terrible. I didn't really check the XP rates before I put this on the task, but I just checked them and people are... I guess if you have a higher level, you can get up to like 57k an hour. And I don't have a higher level, so we're getting we're getting 36k. It's beautiful. Okay, you know what? Next time I fail, I'm gonna go get some summer pies. You, you probably haven't seen it in the video, but I fail quite often. Very encouraging to keep doing this. Also, my XP has gone up a little bit. Maybe I'm just less distracted, but I'm getting 47k an hour. I'm gonna say that this is 45k an hour. That tree is such is so in the way. No! I skipped the portal. No! If you didn't know already, summer pies boost your agility level by five. I think we made one in the last episode, actually. But yeah, they boost your agility by five levels. Very useful. So if there's a shortcut or anything that you wanna get past, summer pies. Hey, we just broke the new record. 106, how cool. Our count is 25. I might have to take a break after five more. I'm running in circles in a video game for fun. And that happens a lot too. 
great fun. Oh man, this is gonna be a long grind. I can tell you that much. I'm gonna go take a break, cause I cannot do this. Think about this guys, there's no other game that lets you walk on a tightrope for 10 seconds like that. This is the beauty, taking it slow, climbing through dark holes. This is what we all enjoy right here. Oh man, 60 laps, 60 laps. We got 60K left to our level. Again, it's getting late though. Don't forget what I said. Eight hours of sleep. Eight hours of sleep, everyone. Have a good night. So I just hit 80 um, laps. Yeah, that's right, I almost had 80 agility. We just had 80 laps, that's a lot. <laughs> I mean, what else do you say about agility? I'm just running in a circle, going through these portals. Guys, 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 I'm actually doing this because I have not done four tails. Okay, I thought it disappeared for a sec. I'm actually doing this because I haven't done this event in literally centuries. It's been centuries since I did this, this event right here. That's it? Is that really it? Why is this surrounded by lava? There's a house over there. And a lava pit. Okay, interesting. Ooh, we got a hat. Like Indiana Jones, look at that. Okay, so we're at 92 courses, but I have 14K left. Do you think I'm gonna get a level before I hit 99? That's dumb. <laughs> before 100, I mean before 100. Do you think I'm gonna get a level before 100? I don't know, you don't have to comment it. You can just guess if you want. Most of you will probably just look it up and calculate all the XP for this course and then do that. But that's no fun, just guess. If you're right, then um, join the CC. If you're wrong, like the video. You know, I kinda like the view from up here. What can we see? I think that's the town. There's like a another town or something, I don't know. We should go explore that town after this. Look, there's these forest dwellers over here. No idea what they're doing. And over here, I can see an altar. Can you go to that altar? It doesn't look like you can. Oh, maybe you can around that way. Weird. There it is. 100 courses, laps, whatever you want to call it. And we're still 3.7k to level. A few more and we're done. Also, if you're watching this video and you haven't already, join the FC22. Lovely, lovely people. All fun to talk to. We're gonna be doing some clan events soon whenever I get it on the spreadsheet, so I'm really looking forward to it. All right, boys, the last lap. This is going to be the fastest lap in existence at the Perfect Innis Agility Course. Are you ready for this? Let's get the countdown going. Go! Oh shit, there's a portal right there. Oh. Well, we just, we just lost. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. 79 agility, 1997 total. You can use a Karazi jungle vine climb. Excellent. That wasn't even that bad, even though we failed. We probably would have had it if we didn't fail that one. Oh well, let's go get the next task. We got 61 crystal shards. I'm gonna look up and see if I can get anything with these shards. All right, it looks like we can either get a crystal weapon for 40 crystal shards or a crystal key for 10 crystal shards. The rest of the stuff I can't afford. I'm not really sure what I would prefer more. I think it would be cool to get the tools personally. Maybe get the armor as well. Cause if I got the armor, I could try that out at Zora. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna keep saving up for that. But let's go get the new task. All right, task complete. There we go. Still 88%, but I'm, I'm not expecting that to change anytime soon. Let's get a new task. What is this? What is this? That's right, we got a boss time. This is just a normal boss time, but with one exception, my wife decides what gear I use. I know, it's even better. Just so you know, she has never played RuneScape, let alone like any other game. <laughs> So this will be, this will be really interesting. But first, let's figure out what boss time we actually get. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's hope we get something good. I really wanted to do Kriara, but normally not, <laughs> not like this. Yeah, we're recording now. So this is the boss that we're gonna kill right here. Okay. This is the equipment that we need. Yes. See it? So I need one of each of these. Okay. Except for the sword. If you wanna, you can ask me which one is which, and I'll tell you which, what it is, if you can't tell. 
Some yeah. are obvious, like the boots. That one's a chest plate. It's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want, the red ones or the green one? Which one is better? It's up to you. Maybe the red one. Okay. Actually, those ones are the better ones. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. You're going with that one? Yep. Okay. Remember, it's a range boss. <laughs> That means I'm using a bow and arrow. I still need a cape. What else do you need? A ring. So there's some rings up top. Oh, this one's... You like that one? It's curly. <laughs> Going with the, the Sears ring? Okay. Yeah. And we need some gloves. Let me show you your options. So you got this one, this one, this one, and this one. The blue ones right there. <laughs> I'm totally not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need an amulet. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, I need an amulet. I didn't even buy an anguish. God dang it. You have the black, the onyx one, that one, oh. that one. Okay, I will be so surprised Good. if I can get anything with this. Good luck, baby. I guess there's only one way to, to do this. Got some tank armor going on here. So we got some exceptional melee offensive bonuses. Some exceptional defenses. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with the crossbow. My range bonus is 63. At least we got the Sears ring for some mage bonus. So we'll see how it goes. This will be, uh, this will be fun. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Hey, we got a stamina potion too, for no reason. This is actually a good setup. You need to tank all the the melee hits from those Zamorak dudes. All right, well, I uh, guess we're gonna be doing this. <laughs> this is probably the most expensive way to get kill count right here. <laughs> oh, there's that Gorak. I was worried about him. Sure, you could use the, the blowpipe for this, but I got no Armadale item. <laughs> it's okay if we use prayer right now because I don't feel like prayer's gonna be the issue. <laughs> Look at him just dancing over there, having a good time. Can you, can you stop? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Are we safe? Okay. Let's see if we can hit this bird. Oh my. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Getting shredded! That guy outside the door is probably like, what? <laughs> Come on, special go! <laughs> we hit! Oh, we hit again! Come on, please! Just one. Oh, there we go. For armor, you gotta be really quick on the when you click it again, otherwise he'll start meleeing you. Oh man. We're just taking damage left and right right here. There's another hit, come on. We almost got him. Oh, we got another spec, let's go. And he's down, we did it. For a black dehyde body. Excellent, I'm gonna pick up my bolts. I don't think another kill is happening. That's all we came here, boys. That's all we came here for. <laughs> okay, we have successfully completed our task. Let's go ahead and get the next one. Oh, interesting. Let's see what we got. Let's see, wilderness, we got five available. I honestly don't know what the requirements are. Okay, so we lucked out. We got one that we can do right here. Cut and burn some magic logs in the resource area. Let's freaking do it. I'm not gonna, I'm not going back to Callisto. Hey, we actually made some money from that. Those Addy bars. We're not counting all the brews I just used for one kill, but hey, but that, that doesn't count. We're not worrying about that right now. So we have completed the hard diary of the wilderness. So that means we get a discount. We only have to pay 3,750 GP to get into the wilderness resource area. I've never been there. I've seen a lot of PK videos about it. it said chop and burn, right? We're gonna need a tinder box. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Edgeville lever. I wonder if anyone actually PKs here. Don't mind me. 
Just chopping. <laughs> it's already been like two minutes. This is this is ridiculous. I guess I do just have the level for it. Since magic logs are 75, that's why it's so slow. And I'm using a rune axe. Really not the best best thing to chop these. Hey, we got it. Let's just light it up right now. And then we, <laughs> we got the second one right off the bat. That's cool. There we go. One elite task complete. A Konar Slayer task. I'll uh I'll take that. All right, Konar, what do you got for me? Mm, I'm tempted. Hold on, can Duradel, can Duradel assign these? If so, Duradel cannot. Yeah, um, we're not doing that. <laughs> 242 blood builds, is that worth it? In the Slayer Tower, they're not even the mutated ones. They're the, the lame ones. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel that. Third time's the charm. I got nothing to say. We're gonna spend some more Slayer points because I am i can't be bothered with that. I really can't. They're level 47 Slayer. I can't do that. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we're doing some Armadale for real this time. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. That way you never miss a video. See you next time.